hello friends welcome back to my channel so today this video is gonna to be very special for engineering students as i am discussing here the important formulas related to the engineering mathematics that is m3 especially who are pursuing their degree in the vtu vishweshwarya technological university so they face the problems uh, in these uh, particular subjects like m1 m2 m3 and m4 so today we will discuss about the important formulas of m3 uh, i don't want to uh, make this video too long just because we are living in the epoch where we are entangled with the sensational media which we are bombarded by so without any wasting a time so i will discuss here model wise the formulas important formulas over here so uh, my dear friends as uh, in the earlier video i have mentioned uh, where i have uploaded the video on how to pass m3 examination i will give you the link uh, in the description uh, so that you can refer that video on that video based i have taken uh, important formulas from module um, modules each module so uh, my dear guys uh, first module there is a formula on the base uh, of unit step function over there so uh, f of t is equal to f of 1 plus f2 minus f1 uh, unit step function of t minus a plus f3 minus f2 unit step of t minus b so it is the formula on uh, unit step function you just refer this only one formula so that you can cover that uh, particular portion that is unit step function then the module 2 comes on the Fourier series so you have to remember the uh, Fourier series formula that is f of x is equal to a0 divided by 2 plus summation of n running from 1 to infinity a n cos of nx plus summation of n running from 1 to infinity b n sine of nx and this is the Fourier series formula just you have to put uh, the values of a0 a n and b n in this formula so that you can get the Fourier series over there then in this particular module one of the most important questions uh, in the VTU as far as the VTU exam examination is concerned and it's a very simple concept over there so that is the harmonic analysis for that harmonic analysis you just it is the value uh, based uh, question over there so you have to calculate uh, in some questions you have to calculate only a0 a1 and b, uh, b1 uh, and in some questions uh, a0 uh, a1 and a2 and b1 and b2 so that is the second harmonic over there so a0 is equal to 2 by n summation of y and a1 is equal to 2 by n summation of y cos of x and i will tell you here how to remember this also it is very simple to remember so then b1 is equal to 2 by n summation of y sine of x a2 is equal to 2 by n summation of y cos of 2x and b2 is equal to 2 by n summation of y sine of 2x you see here this is 2 by n summation of y cos x and a2 you have to just add 2x over here a2 is equal to upon n summation of y cos is same then 2x you have to add it over here then b1 2 by n summation of y sine of x and same like b2 is equal to 2 upon uh, n sine of y sine of 2x you have to add over here that is the uh, particular formulas for the harmonic analysis then the module 3 comes in that uh, module you have to only just prefer one question over there if you are looking for the passing marks so in that a particular uh, what we call as the important topic is over there that is the z transformation well, they will ask you the find the z transform of suppose cos of uh, i n theta sine of i n theta like that these are the most probable questions in the particular question so there is a formula one uh, e raised power i n theta which is equal to cos of n theta plus i sine of theta and this is the particular one formula over there which is used in this concept that is z transform over there so next is next is the uh, fourth module which is the most important and uh, you can easily get 20 marks in this particular module and uh, you have to use these formulas then only you can make it easy so uh, first concept is that is the taylor series that is y of x is equal to y of x naught plus x minus x naught i is power 1 divided by 1 factorial y dash of x naught plus x minus x naught divided by 2 factorial whole square that is y double dash plus x minus x naught divided by 3 factorial y triple dash of x naught plus so so on it is very simple to remember first you see x minus x naught x minus x naught x minus x naught is same you have to uh, increase uh, the factorials over there there is one factorial two factorial three factorial and you have to increase also this differentiation y dash y double dash that is the first differentiation second differentiation uh, double differentiation y double dash plus y triple dash uh, triple uh, differentiation over here so that you uh, you make it easy to remember over there uh, then modify
modified Euler's method so in this method you have to uh, calculate the iterations four iterations you are supposed to do over there uh, suppose first one I have taken it as y1 raised power 1 is equal to y0 plus hf of x0 comma y0 this is the first iteration you have to do only you have to put values in this uh, in these particular formulas nothing uh, no rocket sinus in these particular uh, formulas over there so then y1 raised power 2 is equal to y0 plus h upon 2 f of x0 comma y0 plus f of x1 comma y1 raised power 1 then y1 raised power 3 is equal to y0 plus h upon 2 f of x0 plus y0 plus f of x1 comma y1 raised power 2 then y1 raised power 4 is equal to y0 plus h upon 2 f of x0 comma y0 plus f of x1 comma y1 raised power 3 it is very simple also to remember see here y1 raised power 1 y1 raised power 2 y1 raised power 3 rest is the same f of x0 comma y0 f of x comma x0 comma y0 f of x0 comma y0 f of x1 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 uh, only uh, you have to change this one raised power you have to change over here y1 raised power 1 y1 raised power 2 y1 raised power 3 only this is a uh, modified euler's method then uh, the another important topic comes that is the Rangi Kuta method of fourth order. So K1 is equal to HF upon X0 comma Y0, K2 is equal to HF upon X0 plus H upon 2 comma Y0 plus K1 by 2, K3 is equal to HF into x0 plus h upon 2 comma y0 plus k2 upon 2 k4 is equal to hf of x0 plus h comma y0 plus k3 once you get these values k1 k2 k3 k4 by putting the values which are given in the question paper so then you have to calculate this last formula of this Runge Kutta method that is y of x0 plus h uh, is equal to y0 plus 1 upon 6 k1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus k4 so you are already getting these values here k1 k2 k3 k4 you have to put it in this formula that is k1 k2 k3 k4 then the another formula comes in this particular module so that is Milne's and Adams bash fourth predictor and corrector formula so in Milne's first one we will take Milne's method so in that predictor formula is given by y4 raised power p is equal to y0 plus 4h upon 3 2 times f1 minus f2 plus 2f3 then the corrector formula for this Milne uh, comes up uh, y raise, uh, y4 raised power c is equal to y up, y2 plus h up h upon 3 f2 plus 4 f3 plus f4 raised power, f, uh, raised power p so where this term f4 raised power p is equal to is given by x uh, f of x4 comma y4 raised power p then the adams method there are also two formulas predictor and corrector so y4 predictor is equal to y3 plus h upon 24 uh, into uh, 55 f3 minus 59 f2 plus 37 f1 minus 9 f0 then y4 corrector uh, comes up with uh, which is equal to y3 plus h by 24 into 9 times f4 predictor plus 9 uh, 19 times f3 minus 5, uh, 5 times f2 plus 5 1 where also f4 predictor is given by f of x is uh, x4 comma y4 is power predictor so you will find out this value f4 is power p in this particular equation then put it uh, here in this uh, formula then you will easily uh, clear this module with the flying colors over there then module fifth comes up in the module 5 there is also a Runge Kuta method in the second order uh, ordinary differential equation over there so you have to remember this one also so y of x1 is equal to y0 plus 1 by 6 k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4 which you already discussed in the module third then the extra term we have to calculate over there is z of x1 is equal to z0 plus 1 upon 6 l1 plus 2l2 plus 2l3 plus l4 in these k1 k2 k3 k4 and l1 l2 l3 l4 you have to calculate by these formulas so this is the formula for k1 k1 is equal to hf upon x0 y0 comma z0 k2 is equal to hf or uh, into x0 plus h by 2 comma y0 plus k1 upon 2 uh, comma z0 plus l1 upon 2 k3 is equal to hf uh, into x0 pl uh, plus h by 2 y0 plus k by k2 by 2 comma z0 plus l2 by 2 k4 is equal to hf upon x0 plus h y0 plus k k3 uh, comma z0 plus l3 and same like l1 l2 l3 you have to calculate so 
L1 is equal to Hg into x0, y0, z0. L2 is equal to Hg into x0 plus h upon 2, y0 plus k1 upon 2, z0 uh, plus L1 upon 2. L3 is equal to Hg into x0 plus h0, uh, h by 2, y0 plus k2 by 2, z0 plus L2 by 2. Then L4 is equal to Hg into x0 plus h, y0 plus k3, z0 plus l3 so this is also easy to remember my dear friends uh, you uh, you just check what here here y0 plus k1 upon 2 then k2 k3 you have to uh, put like that then l1 l2 l3 so these are the important formulas and in this particular module fifth uh, there are two equations which you have to memorize over there which you have to remember that is the Euler's theorem and geodesic of a plan surface it is a, one of the most important question as far as VTU examination is concerned you just refer it uh, over there it carries seven marks so dou f by dou y minus d by dx of dou f by dou y dash is equal to zero you have to prove that in this particular theorem so I hope friends this video is beneficial for you people as I already mentioned the whole formulas in the all chapters and all modules you just refer these formulas and practice uh, only by practicing you can make it easy I hope you will kill the examination this time 